Hi guys, we have some exciting updates coming from Fractal Bitcoin. They have released something just a couple minutes ago and this is going to be a testnet phase that will be available and accessible to everyone very, very soon. Also, we we'll have some news and updates from the current state of the market and exactly what happened over the last week, as well as some general airdrop alpha and news. So let's get started. First of all, if you remember the last video on Tuesday when Japan carry trade was unwinding, Bitcoin was crashing under 50k, ETH was just over 2k, Solana $110. If you remember what we said, it was as clear as a day that the market was just panicking, it was oversold and of course the dip was very very quickly eaten up by institutions. If you remember that about $1 billion was sold by retail, whereas institutions bought $14 billion worth of assets in that crash, I think it's very clear where the smart money is allocated. So in case you haven't actually used the dip opportunity, that's fine, but the portfolio strategy should always be included with some stable coins, of course, for extremely red days. So if you have not acted upon the last opportunity, your strategy should be perhaps considered to change into more stable coin positions. Of course, you should always have about 20-30% in stables to make use of these days, but for now, we are going to see what's happening because Bitcoin is also dropping very, very sideways for the last couple of days. So market is doing market things, but you should always be positioned for this scenario. If Bitcoin is 10K tomorrow, do you have enough dry powder to buy all of it in the world? And if it's 100K, did you buy enough of your alts and your crypto positions to start slowly exiting your positions? Now, regarding the other alts I'm looking, again, we're going to do a complete portfolio breakdown in the next couple of days, but the alts I'm currently looking is Avail. Avail has been going on a tear in the last 24 hours. We don't really know exactly what is the cause, but I imagine because nothing is actually live on their socials, but they had a, an in-person event in Hong Kong just a couple of days ago. So perhaps something was announced there that is not yet on their socials. If you have received the Avail airdrop or maybe bought around 10 cents, you're sitting very in very nice profits. And if these tokens are still not staked, then you should definitely them because as we know, Saga, Say, and many other airdrops in this space reward people who are staking the tokens as a way to keep the price more or less stable. Now, regarding the other portfolio plays I'm currently taking a look at, of course, Celestia is at the forefront of modularity. If you've done a little bit of research and if you actually understand the difference between monolithic and modular blockchains, it is a no-brainer play that modularity will be a huge narrative in the years to come. So having Celestia at sub $5 or around $5, it seems like an absolute steal. Of course, no financial advice, but you have to keep it in mind. And if you're taking a look at real world assets, we have a clear winner in Ondo, which is definitely the market leader, recovering almost 50% from the last week's crash. Whereas a lot of people are thinking that Mantra should be the next real world asset play and a lot of liquidity is going from Ondo to Mantra. The market leaders are leaders for a reason. And you should consider that when you're constructing your portfolio regarding real world assets. All right, next we have updates for Bitcoin ecosystem. And first of all, I'm super happy that the last video's feedback was so positive. It seems that finally the general consensus and interest for people for the Bitcoin ecosystem is growing, which is which was well, well overdue. So let me know in the comments or in our Discord if you would prefer to have maybe even weekly or at least bi-weekly updates regarding BRC20s and ordinals. In the meantime, the news regarding Fractal Bitcoin are amazing. We are finally able to actively participate in their testnet. You can get your faucet tokens on their testnet page. And keep in mind, it's going to be reset on the August 13th. So make sure to get your transactions in before 8 a.m. UTC on August 13th. So to be included in potentially some snapshots for the future dates. Again, this is all speculative, but any, any exposure you can get to Fractal before it goes live will definitely set you up for potentially success in the future. Then regarding other Bitcoin updates, we have just received news that the Heroes is going to be having a mint on August 15th. And in case you weren't aware, they are trying to build some kind of a game using DMT, which is digital matter, matter theory. And this is basically a way to randomize patterns on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's randomized patterns to be translated into something meaningful, in their case, stories and AI characters and 
it looks really really interesting there's going to be only 4000 mints and they're going to be on mscribe.io so definitely keep an eye out on that follow the founder and check every detail on their official website at hyros or heroes.io this has no affiliation with the Alex Becker brand Hyros, as far as I know, so don't get those two confused. And make sure that you have at least about $50, $60 in Bitcoin because every mint is going to cost $20. And I do expect this to sell out very, very quickly, so make sure to not be late for this one. And a quick reminder that any kind of NFT trading can be very, very speculative and risky. Just a pure example is the gods, South Frank, the founder of this crazy movement, has opened up a Telegram channel and his NFT collection, the gods on Solana, <laughs> is up 100% in 24 days, in 24 hours. So it's actually crazy. But yeah, it can be a very, very, very lucrative arena if you have time and energy to master it. Of course, we are always going to be there to help you in our Discord. I really don't know any other community in the world that is as focused on the BRC20's ecosystem and giving you updates in real time. Again, I've said this quadrillion times already, this channel, BRC20 Bitcoin ecosystem has made me more money in the last year, probably than all other airdrops combined. So if you're looking to get some exposure to this and get a real community that can help you in real time with any questions or any concerns you might have about this, consider joining our Discord. All the details are, of course, on our official website. And here you will always find all the Discord plans and also an airdrop tracking application that can help you keep organized, especially if you're doing these multiple chains, if you're migrating from EVM chains, but you still have some exposure, if you're going to Bitcoin app to Sui, this app is a real life changer. Of course, we also discussed many other, other topics on other active airdrops, but of course, this is one of the easier ways to keep up to date with everything regarding airdrops. And in other news, we have Gitcoin Grants 21 currently live, active until 21st of August. And this is one of the easiest and perhaps best ways to get anti-civil protection for your wallets. Of course, we don't recommend just throwing money into the blue. If you're going to donate into something, it is our recommendation to do so with at least $10, considering there is probably a lot of bot farms and everything that are just donating a couple cents to get their transactions in on this. So if you're going to donate, at least read the project you're donating to. Maybe it's even going to align with your personal values and do so with at least $10. Next, we have some updates from Scroll. So as you remember, Sandy ZKP, which is the founder of Scroll, has t tweeted a long time ago that, oh boy, second part of the year is going to be big. And currently Nansen is teasing us with another announcement of, are you ready for us to reveal what's coming next or soon? with a scroll logo in the background so maybe this is great news for my fellow scroll farmers hopefully we get some token announcement and maybe even an air airdrop campaign very very soon and finally if you want to do a nice two-in-one with zora and base you can do so with jobs not finished a very nice kobe reference here on their platform where apparently zora has actually <laughs> launched their token no news regarding airdrops or snapshots as of today but you can definitely play around with their new token standard on their platform where you can basically trade NFTs as if they were fungible tokens. And if you miss the mint date, you can buy and sell these NFTs at any amount that you wish. So for example, currently just buying one of these is like seven cents or something like that. So you can buy in bulk, get some transactions in, perform buys and sells, and who knows, maybe it's going to be worth it in the long run. Next, we got a very nice surprise airdrop from Sui. If you've been active on Sui blockchain, you may have received an NFT from Sui name services, which you will be able to redeem for NS tokens at a later date. Now, personally, we've been trying to figure out in our Discord and in their blog for the last half an hour, what was exact eligibility criteria for this, and we couldn't really find the answer in their official communication. But if you know, please let us know in the comments or in our Discord. If you want to know more about this, you can check our their official website on Miston Labs blog and you can find out more about their distribution, governance and what is the plan for the token in the future. Next, we got some really nice updates from Orderly as well. So Order token is very, very close. And the best thing is that there will be a planned utility for ordered staking from day one and you will be receiving 60% of net fees to order token stakers from day one. And this is incredible because more than 8 billion, actually, sorry, 8 million 
dollars has been generated on orderly platforms so this could be incredibly positive for the price action however one important caveat to understand their tokenomics the entire airdrop allocation will be available on launch date which means that if people feel the sentiment on the market is bearish this could be very very negative for orderly token price action days one and two so keep these two factors in mind if you're planning to sell a portion or maybe even a significant amount of your airdrop allocations and finally if you've been active in farming superform maybe via layer zero or hyperlane routes then you need to be aware that they have a superform safari basically by activity on the superform platform you can participate in these nft mints called super friends and each tier receives a certain amount of benefits which might be beneficial if they launch an airdrop at some point in the future also there's this blockchain called super seed which is branding itself as the first blockchain that repays your debt and we are super early for this one there's really not a lot of updates regarding this but they have relaunched their galaxy campaign where by simply completing a couple social tasks you can position yourself for potentially some airdrops from them in the future and finally, if you want to go into the super speculative arena, there's this thing called Eclipse, and they're basically like a Solana virtual machine on Ethereum, first of its kind. And every once in a while, they have a very, very short time for these Eclipse NFTs, and they cost between 50 to to $100 in most cases. And of course, not financial advice, but if you want to be super speculative and going in the rabbit hole, you can see that their Twitter communication said, after some influencers said that, am I doing this right? Eclipse said, haha, nice try. I'm not giving financial advice, but yes, bridging and buying NFTs on Eclipse equals good. So do so only this with the amount of money you're comfortable literally burning because it might not amount to anything, but it also might give substantial returns in the future. Again, risky, speculative, but Sometimes in airdrops today, you just have to take bigger risks than like two years ago when you had to do two transactions to get a couple thousand dollars. So this is the arena we're playing today. So keep that in mind. And that's a wrap for all the airdrop updates, news and claims for today. If you like the content, you know what to do. Like and subscribe with bell notifications on. For any questions or comments, drop them in the comments below. We are waiting for you in our Discord. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day.